Hey everybody, it's Mark with Flatwoods Bee Farm. Some of you might know that uh, I really love four over four resource hives. Um, it's basically a 10 frame box split down the middle with a divider. You got a colony on one side, uh, on either side of the box, separated by a divider. And uh, I use those to, to support my, my production colonies. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show how I put a hive top feeder on them and uh, feed both colonies out of one feeder and keep the queens from from uh, crossing that divider uh, and kill each other. So, hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Alright, so since we're in here messing, I'm going to go ahead and inspect this other side. So, on this side of this resource hive, this morning, I, uh, I had a little abscond um, that, that left that side because of small hive beetles. Well, anyway, they went and got in a uh, bait hive, <coughs> and uh, this morning I installed them on this side. This side was already in here. So what I want to do, while I'm in here disrupting everything, I just want to go ahead and Take a quick peek at them. A little shout out to my buddy Doug for this canvas. Man, I tell you what, what a wonderful thing. As you can see, there's four frames in this in this side. Let's just take a quick peek. We'll make sure they got stores. Make sure I got a laying queen, and I'm gonna be, get out of it. There's my queen. There's my queen right there. Let's see what she's doing. Look at one more. Good population of bees. Oh yeah, I got eggs. So she's laying. She's doing what she's supposed to do. Um, I'm gonna close them back up real quick. Okay. Now, what I'm doing today is I want to add. Now, a couple of people have asked me how I do this. I want to add a, a hive top feeder to this thing. It's like, well, how do you do that and keep the queens from crossing over? Well, this is how I'm going to do it. Whether it's right, I don't know. Um, but this is how I'm going to do it. Of course, for those of you that don't know, this is this is a resource hive that I use. It's four over four uh, frames. The two colonies are separated by this separation board. Okay. So there's a colony over here with the entrance right here, colony over here with the entrance over there, okay? So the critical part of this is right here, I have to secure this area right here so the queens can't cross over and kill each other, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little piece of canvas and pull it this way, alright? Split the difference just like that, okay? This side over here is still confused. I just installed them. Now, we'll put a queen metal queen excluder. Now, what I'm going to do is, on, those of you that are familiar with the metal queen excluder, you know there's a there's a flat side, and then if you flip it over, there's like a little indention. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flat side down, okay? Because I want I want that sealed off, where the queens can't move from one side to the other, okay? So that should seal it off right there at that separation board. All right. Now what I'm going to do is get my hive top feeder and put on here. Put 
just like that. All right, now, the worker bees can still come up through that queen excluder over here and over here on either side of that canvas, come up and come over and, and, uh, and get to the sugar syrup, okay? At least that's that's the plan. <laughs> Y'all know how plans are in beekeeping. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So that's uh, that's how I'm going to set these things up for feeding. Now I know uh, people do stuff different ways. This is what we're going to try. Okay. All right. And uh, this is it. All right. Hope you're having a great day. I know I am.